Good morning. In this video, we will learn about we will learn atomic structure, especially Bohr atomic model. Niels Bohr was awarded Nobel Prize for deriving radii of Bohr atomic orbit, atomic orbit, uh, the energy of hydrogen, the energy levels of hydrogen atom. He was his theory was applicable only for hydrogenic atom or hydrogen like atoms for example helium plus helium plus has uh, two proton in its nuclei and one electron lithium 2 plus similarly has three protons and uh, one electron they all have uh, one electron uh, similar to hydrogen so you know that Bohr theory is applicable only for hydrogen like atoms or hydrogenic atoms. Let us now uh, see the derivation of radii of Bohr orbit and the energy and the velocity of Bohr orbit okay, in this class and also we will study about de Broglie wavelength, ionization energy of hydrogen atom, how to calculate. The many problems are asked based on uh, Bohr radii, especially in NEET, JEE even IIT jam and, and also in CSIR etc. Now, if you, I have written so much in board, don't worry, just to you, if you remember these two equations, I have written, I have round, I have put in round mark, if, uh, if you remember these equations, then you can derive the entire thing, okay, it is just a mathematical derivation, you, you, you know that according to board, electrons revolve in a circular path, according to board, the electrons revolve in a circular path around the nucleus, around the nucleus called stationary orbits. In a fixed orbit, they revolve around in a fixed orbit. Now, for electron to be in orbit around the nucleus, uh, uh, the electron, electrostatic force must be equal to centrifugal force according to physics, classical physics. Uh, he has applied the classical mechanics. He has applied the uh, classical mechanics um, that for electron to remain in the orbit, the electrostatic force should be equal to the centrifugal force. What is electrostatic force? Okay, 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 is nothing but coulombic force between the part of the nucleus and the electron. Therefore, the charge of the nucleus, for example, in the case of hydrogen, it is 1, for, and in the case of helium plus, it is 2. Charge of the electron divided by the distance between the distance between the electron and the electron and the positive nucleus, okay, and the centrifugal force is given by mv square by r. Now, you find out v square, okay, you take out v square, so you cross multiply this, and I have put this uh, 4 by epsilon 0, permittivity of free space, it is a constant, so I have put at a constant k, okay, k. So, this equation is obtained from this expression. Now, according to one of the postulate of uh, Bohr theory, the angular momentum of an electron revolving around the nucleus is given by nh by 2 pi according to Bohr. Bohr used the quantization concept. Bohr used the quantization concept. He was awarded Nobel Prize for um, putting forth uh, the quantum mechanics, quantum theory. He was, uh, he was the pioneer uh, in proposing the uh, quantum theory. The angular momentum of an electron revolving around the nucleus is quantized, is given by n h by 2 pi by n equal to n is known as quantum number 1, 2, comma 3. The energy levels are quantized. According to Bohr, the energy levels are uh, quantized, the energy levels are discrete, not continuous. The energy levels are, are not continuous, continuous according to him. Now I have taken out V, for example, V square, V, I have taken out V and uh, and then e square because we need to equal these two terms or, and uh, let us equal these two terms and bring out r or because we are deriving the radii of Bohr atom so you equal e square um, the, you equal the two terms and bring out uh, r you will get the radius of the Bohr orbit then for example calculate the Bohr radius of first Bohr orbit radius of, radi radius of first Bohr orbit therefore r1 equal to 0 0.529 1 square by 1 in the case of hydrogen atom it is 1 in the case of lithium 2 plus in the case of lithium 2 plus it is 3 it is 3 
is that equal to 3 in, in square uh, k z s z 1 Armstrong unit 1 Armstrong unit equal to 10 to the minus meter ok so we have derived this calculate the for example calculate the radius of fifth bore array they will ask in the in your examination they will ask calculate the radius of then if you know the formula you need to know how the equation is obtained otherwise uh, you will be um, you will be memorizing the concept ok now derivation of bore or orbit energy, energy of the bore orbit, for example, this is E1, n equal to 1, therefore the energy is E1, okay, this is E2, similarly E3, derivation of energy of the bore orbit, now the total energy is equal to summation of potential energy and the kinetic energy, okay, you know that potential energy is force into distance, you have studied what that, force into potential energy is force into distance, Therefore, integral of force into dr. Again, this is you know force, Coulombic force, you know electrostatic force. You substitute here and uh, take it integral using the formula. You will get minus k z e square by r. Okay. Then kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is equal to one by two m b square equal to you substitute m b square here m b square m b square. Therefore, you bring r here m b square. You substitute, you will get k is a d square by 2 r. Then you substitute potential energy in this expression and kinetic energy in the expression, and you will get a, and further you substitute all bore radius in this term, you will get this expression. Okay, since we know mass of the electron, first mass of the electron, we know charge of the nucleus, we know the charge of the electron, we know we know the 1 by 4 epsilon uh, is given in table, Clark's table. M is the counter number and H is the Planck constant. It can be simplified as in terms of joule unit minus 21.8 is it 10 power minus 19 z square by m square joule per atom. Okay. Or in terms of elect electron volt, in terms of electron volt, uh, it is expressed as En equal to minus 13.6 uh, electron volt into z square by m square. For example, z square by m square. Okay. Now, what, uh, what is the velocity of the electron revolving in the orbit? They may ask the questions based on uh, velocity. Calculate the velocity of the uh, electron uh, revolving in second orbit. Okay. So it is simple. Again, uh, this expression. See, whatever we have simply used uh, this expression, you need to you need to remember this one, this one, this one. That's all. We, you can derive the entire board on yourself. So you need not memorize it. You can uh, readily uh, derive it and uh, get the result. MBR equal to the angular momentum is context uh, given by n x by 2 pi. So V equal to V then you substitute R. Okay. You substitute R. Uh, if you substitute R, you will get 2 pi k is a d square by mh. This uh, so these are all constants. Everything is constant. Um, so you will get 2518, 21.8. Here 2518 is equal to 8 z by n. Okay, okay. z by n. This is centimeter per second. Velocity is unit of velocity is centimeter per second. Okay, now velocity of the, for example, velocity of the electron in the first bore orbit. Calculate the velocity of the electron in the first bore orbit. Then you simply sub, you remember this formula 2518 into 8. For hydrogen atom, 1 by 1. Okay. For helium atom, for calculate the um, velocity of the electron in the helium uh, helium plus atom. The second second orbit, for example, V2, therefore 2 by 2. Right? Now let us uh, in the form of for example, when electron jumps from lower level to higher level, it absorbs light radiation. When electron jumps from, for example, the electron jumps from lower level to higher level, higher level, it absorbs energy. Therefore, you will get absorption spectrum. When electron jumps from higher level to lower level, you will get, uh, for example, E3 to E2, the, the, uh, the energy difference is emitted as delta E is equal to H nu. Okay? The energy is emitted uh, as H nu. Okay, now the uh, new wave number, what is new wave number in terms of wave number uh, equal to 1 by lambda. 
the reciprocal of the wave length is called wave number equal to r z square 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square where r is the is called Rydberg constant. Uh, actually Rydberg um, from the experimental spectrum from the experimental spectrum he empirically calculated the Rydberg constant and you know Bohr obtained theoretically Bohr uh, derived the equation and obtained the Rydberg constant both are same. So it agrees, uh, Bohr theory agrees with the uh, experimental spectrum. Uh, therefore, he was awarded Nobel Prize. He was awarded Nobel Prize for uh, deriving this uh, simple equation with the two equations in his hand. He has derived in everything. For example, uh, okay, so one uh, minus, you put for example here, uh, one square, z, z square, one square, n one square, minus one by n two square. Okay, the transition, uh, the wavelength required for the wavelength emitted, the wavelength emitted or absorbed when it jumps from lower level to higher level or higher level to lower level. Okay, so all in terms of energy, all in terms of energy, 13.6 electron volt. For example, this formula is where uh, these for these formulas are very very these formulas are very very important for solving. Uh, most of the problems in IIT, JAM, JEE, NEET, etc. 13.6 Z square, 1 by N1 square minus 1 to 1 by N2 square electron volt. Now, uh, calculate the ionization energy of hydrogen atom. How do you calculate the ionization energy of uh, hydrogen atom by using this equation? For example, the, I the ionization energy of hydrogen atom equal to 13.6 electron volt by actually the electron jumps from n equal to 1 for hydrogen atom the electron is present in n equal to 1 ok in order to ionize, ionize it the electron should be uh, the electron present in the gaseous state should be uh, should be expelled that is n equal to n equal to infinity n equal to infinity therefore 1 by infinity square 1 by infinity equal to 0 therefore 13.6 electron volt therefore the ionization energy of uh, hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volt Similarly, they will ask uh, calculate the ionization energy of helium 2 plus atom. That was what we will do 13.6 1 by uh, here z square. z square is 2 square. 2 square because z equal to 2 for helium. z square 1 by 1 square 1 by infinity square we can calculate. Similarly, calculate the transition energy from uh, n equal to 1 to n equal to 4. Calculate the transition energy from uh, or calculate the uh, wave number for transition, calculate the wave number for the transition from n1 equal to n4 or n2 to n4. Using this equation, we can calculate the many problems were asked. Uh, again, D Broglie wavelength, D Broglie wavelength, uh, D Broglie used a uh, dual nature of light. He has uh, proposed dual nature of light. He has used uh, Einstein mass energy, mass energy relationship, E is equal to mc square and Max Planck equation, E is equal to h mu and he has obtained, uh, this is according to uh, corpus theory, particle like behavior, this is like wave like behavior, uh, he has combined the two equations, C is equal to mu lambda on substituting E is equal to mc square equal to h mu and substituting here lambda equal to h by c. Uh, using this uh, equation, you can calculate the momentum, uh, momentum of the uh, electron, momentum of the electron. If um, if momentum of the electron, if you know the wavelength, or if you know the wavelength, you can calculate the momentum. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll continue with this.